20 years ago, this was a crime. Before we did not have a school here, now we do. I'm very happy that I'm studying here so in the future I can serve my country. Before the Taliban was toppled in 2001, the group forbade girls like Sajia from going to school. Since then, she's among the first generation of educated Afghan girls. Boys are also enrolling in higher numbers. A million new Afghan students enroll each year, including 40% of school-age girls. If these schools open, the children who don't have anything to do could go to their school and they could become someone in the future. But to many, the door to education remains closed. In this country of 29 million, 9 million children go to school, but 3 million do not, largely because of the danger of war. Security is the mother of all the problems. When there is no security, surely you cannot uh, build a school, you cannot deliver a good uh, educational service, and you cannot hire a good and professional teacher. There are other reasons. There is the grinding poverty that leads some parents to press their children into child labor. Then, in some spots, there is a conservative brand of Islam that forbids girls from being educated. But above all obstacles between children and education here, is security. After multiple Taliban threats against this school for 1,300 students in Ghazni, it was blown up overnight while empty this week. To avoid that, many schools move once they are threatened. This school building was built four years ago, but due to security problems, we had to move the students to another rented building to make sure it is secure. At this school in Kandahar, they have no chairs, no desks, no chalkboard, just a teacher and an open-air classroom. And still, they come. In our class, we sit on the ground. I'm asking the government to bring us chairs and desks. It's very hot here. We want electricity. Many Afghan children still have not seen the inside of a school. But at schools like this one, there is now a new problem. This school was just open. Next year, we might have to handle double the number of students. That has us worried. That would be a welcome problem for the next generation. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Kabul.